if Fulton County prosecutors get their way. News Edge reporter Tyler Fingert is at the live desk tonight to explain. So Tyler, what's going on? Well, Christine, Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis filed this 10 page motion this afternoon to delay the trial of young thug Gunna and 26 other defendants in a large RICO case. The delay request all has to do with the fact that more than a quarter of the suspects don't have attorneys yet. The writing on the wall was clear for Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis. In a motion filed Thursday, she asked for a delay in the racketeering case against Young Thug and Gunna. In the motion, Willis says eight of the 28 defendants in the case still don't have attorneys months after their indictments. She's asking that the trial, which is currently scheduled for January 9th, be delayed until March 27th to give the defendants time to get a lawyer. In the motion, she writes a continuance to the final week in March would protect the speedy trial rights of those who have asserted those rights while also ensuring that the additional eight defendants have properly prepared appointed counsel. Young Thug and Gunna's real names are Jeffrey Williams and Sergio Kitchens. Both sit behind bars along with 23 other co-defendants waiting for trial. Prosecutors believe Williams and Kitchens led a street gang called Young Slime Life. The DA's office says the two, along with their associates, use violence, drugs, and even murder to make money. The Thursday motion also said the defendants should be tried together because they participated in the same conspiracy and similar evidence would be used in each trial. In the motion, prosecutors write that they are concerned about the inconvenience and trauma of repeated testimony of witnesses who were the victims of violent gang crimes. The judge will look at the motion later this month and make a new decision. Details as Atlanta rapper Young Thug is back in court today. His lawyers are making a new request for bond and looking to dismiss one of the indictments and get against him. Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, is accused by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis of being the ring ringleader of the Young Slime Life Street Gang. Today, we're also expecting his lawyers to ask to suppress some of the evidence collected from the rapper's phone. So far in court, a judge has denied a motion brought by D.A. Willis to delay the trial until March. That means the trial is still set to start January 9th. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick on the latest in the YSL Rico case. As Young Thug appeared in court today, and I'm going to have all the links in the description for the information where y'all can go check that out at, but it's a lot of layers to peel back in this situation now. First, as y'all heard in the beginning, last month, Funny Willis, the DA, had put in motion to have the trial pushed back to March of next year because she's saying eight out of the 28 defendants do not have lawyers and legal representation to go to trial. And she wants everything done at once, all in one, the way the wit so the witnesses can work out and it's all going on at the same time. But George Chitty, who's out of Atlanta and does write-ups and cover news directly from the courtroom, he said this happened in Enna. Judge Glanville has denied the state's motion to push the trial back to March. I've no bonded basically everyone, he said. They have a right to go to trial. He will be considering motions to serve her to hold separate trial. Now the reality of that is, when you have these type of things going on, they're not gonna tell you to save your money for a lawyer. We're coming with a RICO. Get your act together, get your information lined up. You already gotta be prepared for that. So some of them don't have lawyers. I don't know their exact situations, but they are gonna get court appointments at this point. And that's just how the game go. Ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you. They not gonna feel sorry for you. That's just how the game go. Even if people are feeling sorry for you, they ain't gonna put the money up for your lawyer. We just gotta keep it all the way a thousand. It's still innocent until proven guilty though. So also, this thing was talked about. Young Thug wanting him and his lawyer legal team wanted certain evidence thrown out from the Hertz rental car place because they said that it was gained and obtained without proper representation and documents, which meaning, hey, y'all went and did a false warrant, false things to go and get this news and obtain a search to get this information. Now, as I said before, when I started talking about this, these things do happen in cases and it can blow your whole trial case if you prosecute and try to lock somebody up because you can't play no foul roles and do nothing out the way. It's happened before in real life where people were able to get off 
It's all about credibility and it's all about you got to follow the law on both sides. If you got the right lawyer, they can com combat it and say, oh, y'all got that illegally. This can't work in court now. And that's the way the legal system works. I'm going to give y'all an example. If you seen The Wire, Marlo, they had him on the drug convictions, locked up some of his team members, but they could not get him and lock him up because the way that they went and did the wiretaps were illegal. So the biggest drug kingpin, the nigga in the city that was getting all the money, 17 bodies that they could confirm that he had hit up because they went and got it done illegally on the warrants and the wiretaps and threw the whole case out. They got, he was able to walk in there. Now, the other thing going on, they are saying that they have 300 witnesses ready to testify. I don't know how many of them are actually people walking the streets, how many are cops, you just never know. But that number is crazy. And that came out today. He said this. The state says it will be calling 300 witnesses during the wide sale trial and may require three and a half months. Judge Glanville thinks it will take longer. 300 people is crazy. So I don't know how many of them are lawyer. I mean, neighborhood people, uh, police, detectives. We just got to wait and see. That means this will be a pretty long trial and everything of that nature right there. Now, this case could still be going on today as in the courtroom because I'm updating this in real time. And normally this is an all day thing. But they also reported that somebody had been arrested in there today for having a cell phone. Now, I don't know if that's directly with the Young Thug case. It is, but it, I think it is because he's directly working with that and reporting on that today. Then the lyrics conversation comes up. They're claiming that they got hard evidence. It's just the lyrics are there to support it. I always say innocent until proven guilty. We shall see how this thing go. This is the other side of some of them have caught cases and already done time for those things that are in this RICO charge, but they're using that to tie them into the gang activity, allegedly. Now, this is just the other part of the streets. I'm not accusing Young Thug, YSL, or nobody, but there are times where these things have went on. I've seen it. Niggas that don't rap, niggas that are not stars who have their Instagrams brought up before they getting ready to decide if they want to take it to trial or try to negotiate what they can settle for. Everything you do with the streets like that, if you dive in that water, you gotta know that this is a possibility. Now true, you can lay low, stay out the way, that's the best way to be, but when you sign up for the streets, it ain't no rules. Everything negative come with it if you stick with that. Some niggas is raised in it, and then they get a little bit older and realize, man, I'm, I'm not doing right, I gotta clean my life up, true. But if you have an option, you have a choice, don't dive in that water, my nigga, because ain't nobody going to throw you no life jacket. You can see eight niggas don't have lawyers in this case. And that's not to talk down on them or look down on them. I'm just bringing the reality. Tell me what y'all think, man. We got more shit coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.